What's happening, War Gamers? Welcome to the After Action Report for Wakanda versus uh, Midnight Suns here. And uh, I am sorry to all you Wakanda players out there. That was that was that was, that was rough. I I am sorry as well. <laughs> hey man, like it's it's one of those things where sometimes it happens. Uh, like yeah, like there's your attacks were working, mine were yes. not, right? And like Iron Fist out here has no right to two shot Sam um, at all. He also has no right to two shot uh, Mbaku. Yeah, um, I mean Mbaku's only Mbaku's a little energy, uh, but it's still only five dicers though. Yeah, and then one of them was a four dice physical. That oh, was, that's right. Yeah, that was right. The flying kick is what finished him off. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, and, and that's that. That was definitely part of the story of this game. Unfortunately, um, I I made the decision early on, like, okay, I am going the attrition route, and unfortunately, the dice kind of said, "Nah, fam." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's that's not what we're well, doing today. Well, we were even talking like your Killmonger usurp turn. It was like you threw a lot of dice. I was already on dice. five damage. <laughs> Twenty eight dice, sir, is what you I threw at you. Should have had him. I should have had you, uh, and that would have pushed another round of the game in which my my attrition would have done a little bit better. But I mean, even Mbaku failing to take down Danny yep. uh, in that in that round, my vibranium uh, or sorry, my Wakanda Forever doing nothing. Right? Yeah, like it it powered up Hulk. <laughs> yeah, it, no, no, it didn't because I didn't do any damage. Oh right, yeah, right, yeah. yeah, it literally did nothing. You're um, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sam just not blocking anything. Like my de like my defense dice were just atrocious. Yep. I, I won't. I, mean, I won't disagree. Well, look at what you did with uh with your uh, last attack into King T. He, yeah, he I one healthy. shot him. Yeah, and I think you one shot a lot of my characters. Yeah. No, it was. There was some some rough dice there. I mean, yeah. my my big attacks were were popping off. Your defense rolls and your big attacks were not. Yeah. And now I don't want to say like the whole the whole story is like, well, di dice bad. That's why you won. Because yeah, I mean, you you play you played a good game. Like you you focused in on some stuff and everything like that. Um, granted, with three rounds, it's hard to say like how much of it really was strategy. Yeah, that's that's the big <laughs> so. thing. Is like I had no right to win that run round three. Um, um, that like was... I, I should have had you in a much more dire state uh, this round. Like honestly, I, I feel like Sam probably should have been able to finish the job on Wong and uh, and uh, uh, Danny when he went over there and just did nothing off his his charge attack. Sure. Like if he had gotten the ricochet, you know, maybe Wong goes down. You know, Iron Fist maybe go dazes and then kill. Uh, then uh, Mbaku can do other things. So yeah, there was unfortunately my my decision to go heavy with the attrition. And then the dice let me down. It's like I had no no backup plan with that, right? Yeah. Uh, what what makes it really sad is I was actually mulling between no matter the cost and uh, recal. Oh, and recal could have been big for some of those attacks. <laughs> this fight over here would have been huge, right? Yep. Like recalibration matrix would have been really huge, or even um, blade into uh, into King T there. Yep. Like just doing a recal there. Well, I, I mean, yeah, I, I I shouldn't have got you in one. I was expecting with both attacks I would have gotten you because I could have double spendered, but like. Getting you in one is the only reason why I was actually able to say it was my game that turn. Um, so. No, you still would have had... The, oh, I would have been able to pick up to Chalice thing anyways, yeah. Yeah, you would have been able to so pick yeah, up to I still would have been thing. able to pick one up. Yeah, so yeah, regardless, like you, that was a huge score. Like you basically taking every point but this one disturbance, right? Yeah. Uh, and then the bonus point was, was just, it was massive. Yeah. And I mean, that's what it is. It's a nice game. Yeah. And, and frankly, after what I did to you in our last game... Yeah, no. Which I, unfortunately <laughs> is not on camera, but I fortunately is not on camera. <laughs> like, how many characters of yours did I one shot? And I came back from a game that I had no business winning because Wolverine's just like, I'm just gonna casually one shot Bill <laughs> from, um, from full health. <laughs> for for context, every time you play Cable against me, it's a, it's a disaster every time. <laughs> Don't know why. Maybe maybe for you, like Cable uh, Cable to you is what Spider Woman is to me. I think it is so, honestly. Um, it's actually a shame that that was a that was a really fun game of Guardians versus. X Force, uh, but yeah, just in general, uh, I want to chat briefly about King T's leadership. Sure, yeah, it's and, and just how sad it makes me. It's so close to being really good. It's it's got great thing. Like like a lot of Wakandan characters love that leadership. Original Black Panther would love that oh leadership. My <laughs> it's I, I feel like. Without making it too overpowered, I think one simple change that they could do with it is once per character. So per your turn, Wakanda Forever turn can be really big with the it. The Wakanda Forever turn could be really big, or say uh, a character like Blob coming in and doing yeah. a thunderous splash. Um, also, if you want to make it 
two enemy <laughs> characters as well, something like Sam's Ricochet. Sorry, sure, that, that's what I was actually getting at. Okay. Yeah, that, okay. that's actually what I was getting at. Where like a character, like an enemy character can only be damaged by this effect once per turn. Sure. But you can get multiple enemy characters with it, right? I think something like that could be really meaningful. And I think that I, I think that's actually what would be needed to make this leadership playable. Yeah. Um, I'm, it might almost have to like also just be on your active turns at that point as well, but I, I don't know. That that's neither here nor there. Um, but yeah, like there's just yeah, unfortunately the, the leadership is just there's so few opportunities yeah. to use it, right? And like unfortunately like Sam is great. He can push four characters at every turn. every <laughs> turn, but only one of them ever gets damaged by it. Um, Mbaku can potentially push two. King T can push two potentially. There's a lot of pushes that can happen, but because they, it's like what well, one and that that's it. It's not. Yeah, like it's not meaningless. It's definitely it, it's definitely still a like usable leadership. It's not going to do nothing over the course of a game, but it leaves a little to be desired. And I think compared to the other Wakanda leaderships, which generally tend to have more impact throughout the course of a full game. It's a little it's a little mediocre. Man, uh, if I was running Mbaku's leadership this game, different yeah. story. Yeah. Mbaku's leadership, I think... Uh, turns a, the dice consistency up a, a little lot bit. more of your characters are down. Yep. Right? Because with Mbaku's leadership, I'm turning a... Um, like I'm, If I'm getting a wild, I'm getting another hit. Yeah. And I actually did roll a lot of wilds this game. You did. You had a wild in almost every roll. Yeah. Um, so, except for that last Killmonger roll, but that's besides the point. Uh, so, yeah, it's just, it's really unfortunate. The utility of all of the other leaderships that, uh, that you know, yeah. Wakanda has just... Well, and even like original Black Panther, I'm personally not a huge fan of those types of leaderships, but it's more universal, so you get you get more mileage out of it. Yeah. Uh, throughout a game. Yeah. And when you're, especially when you have a whole bunch of power, right? Yeah. It's like, well, I can, th I can throw power at this. Even, an, even original Black Panther's leadership would have been huge. Yeah. <laughs> Shuri would have been a big deal in this game for me as well. Shuri could have with been. A, with a reroll bubble, well. right? Yep. Uh, but like I said, I went violence. Yes. <laughs> and unfortunately, unfortunately, the game's like, no, 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 no. You, you've been too violent lately. So it, it is what it is. But you know what? I, I'm glad to see Midnight Suns pick up a win. I'm glad to see I Hulk yeah. uh, pick up a win. Uh, that That's always really nice. Um, I'm going to burn bats the ghost town to the ground because it is... It was huge this game. No, man. Garbage cart. It was garbage amazing. Cart. It's the only reason why I won. It's, it's, oh, oh. Oh, them's fight for it. <laughs> this is a different game if you took the, Iron Fist down there. Them's fight. Oh, no, no. Because you just go first the next round and do the exact same thing to me anyway. Okay, sorry. No, we'd be going to round four if I didn't do that. Because <laughs> so. I wouldn't have scored as much. So, well, oh, although at the same time, if, if Iron Fist and Wong were on their injured side, I don't think I'd go with Killmonger when I did. I think instead I would have gone with King T, sure. wandered over here, tried to dummy uh, Iron try Fist, to drop Fist. And, and try to take uh, Wong at the same time, right? That's fair. Um, but yeah, it's, it is what it is. But you know what? <laughs> Either way, fun game. We're sitting here. We're yeah. smiling. We had fun. Uh, all that sort of stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this very uh, quick, snappy game as well. And, uh, you know, you, you come back for the next one. So leave your comments below. And, of course, if you want to support the channel, patreon.com slash Studios or hit up iwargame.net, friend and sponsor of the channel. And uh, use code Agesbrand to save 10% on one of these lovely fancy battle mats right they there. They are very nice. Yep. And everything feeds my dog. So thank you so much for that. We'll see you next time. Happy wargaming.